All right. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Thursday. Um, welcome to the Yoga for Love Online Healing Arts Center. And I am Jamie Ray, and this is Explore the Body. And today we're going to go with another intuitive flow session. <laughs> we'll see what happens here. We will be focusing mostly on neck, shoulders, crown chakra, because this is just what's been coming through. <sighs> it's the work this week. So, find your mat, find your place. We're gonna need a big ball. Big ball, need a ball. Possibly a strap. We'll see where this takes us. We will start with the big ball. And we're going to um, place that. Start on the right side today, whatever side you feel called to. You can work opposite if you feel. And I'm just placing that right on the inside of just on the outer edge, really, of the sacrum just underneath this. The hip bone, there's a little point right there where they meet. A little triangle, a little divot. Ah. You're just gonna let that sink in. You're gonna take the same leg, place the ankle on the opposite knee, and you're just supporting yourself with your opposite foot and your hands or arms. And you're breathing. And you're breathing. Ha. What we're going to do is we're going to work along the edge of that sacrum, right where the muscles attach to the bones. We're not actually on the bone itself. Don't want to be grinding on that. We're just going to continue to breathe and just roll down that edge, pausing any place that you find lots of tension. Anything that's like, oh, hello. Um, and just stay there and take some nice deep breaths. Really breathe into the space. Breathe into the ball. It's like you can feel the breath expand the muscle tissue. And the ball sinks in a bit deeper. <sighs> and then it releases. So really concentrate the breath there. And then inch your way down. Continue moving. Ah, and releasing, so we're releasing the control, releasing the control. This is all outer world, right side. Let it all go. <laughs> the only thing that we can do is come inside, come in here. That's how we fix it. Seems counterintuitive. But it's true that we can all hold our own space on our own mat, our own power, our own sovereignty, embodying the highest version of self. That's when all that resolves, all that chaos that's going on up there. It's all a reflection of what's going on in everyone's inner worlds. Ah. Manifesting. Laying itself out, purging itself. How do you save the world? Save yourself. Go inside. Release the control, release the trying to fix other people, other things, other situations, things outside of yourself. Release it. I'm making my way down towards the sixth bone. Pure formless.
and because we are ultimately coming up to work on this neck, upper chakra region, throat chakra, crown chakra, releasing the control allows us freedom of expression, freedom of voice, freedom to say no or yes. Releasing the glutes can help release the jaw. So if you have T and J or any other, you know, grinding, clicking, etc., in the jaw, tension, releasing the glutes can help alleviate the tension up in the, in the jaw, throat region. As above, so below. All right, so I'm making my way through now. I'm kind of dipping my knee just slightly down, rotating just a little to the side as I make my way up. And the ball is going around the top, around the edge of the greater trochanter as it comes into the hip sockets. We're just moving through around, ha, around the edge of that. Already noticing my neck freeing up. <sighs> oh yeah, what I was saying is because we were working with this, it is good to have express the breath uh, or vocalize it as you're releasing. So as you're Ah, let it go. Feel free to vocalize it, express it. Ah, it really helps loosen up this, uh, this channel. So, you know, the neck is the thinnest part of the body. So everything is moving up, right? We have this, or, or down, this, this channel. This is like, you know, it can get log jammed. Now as I'm coming up to the side, getting right into this side seam, I like to take the leg, stretch it out a bit, and I can lean into the side of it. I get that side divot. Just below the hip and just above the trochanter is just, you know, space. It's just usually some nice hidden away stuff there. Little storage pouch. <laughs> hidden gems. Alright. Is that source solution up? Feel like coming to an end on this side. Roll back through and just check in, see if there's anything that got missed or needs a little extra attention. Switch the other side, come into the left side, the side itself, and right at that point of the sacrum and just below that pelvic rim there. Checking the leg to the left of the ankle to the opposite knee. And breathe. Ah. It begins to sink in. You can start a little movement, a little walking, a little rolling. And also follow it wherever it takes you. So 
my general pattern is I work down the sacrum to the sit bone and back up around the trochanter. But that's not always the, the way I need to go in a day, right? So today might be different. I might feel something and I need to dip over to the side first and then work my way back through the rest of it. So listen to your body and where you're being called. There is no set. <laughs> There's no rules to this other than don't hurt yourself. Don't release the pain. <sighs> And I'm making my way down that edge of the sacrum towards the sixth bone. <laughs> Got a sleeping kitty joining me today. I'm really that's very peaceful. I'm a bit jealous. <laughs> oh. So the side of the self, the ways in which we limit or control ourselves, prevent ourselves from showing up or showing up a certain way, something that we don't like, we don't want to see. Or recognize and try to hide it, or, or even the, the pieces of ourselves that we are afraid to step into that are our true highest self, and we, we control it and we prevent it from coming out, a true expression. We want to release that control. Raise your hand if you have control issues. <laughs> I, I truly don't know anyone that it is totally free of some sort of control pattern. All right, so I'm starting to get down towards the sits bone, your formants. Stretch the leg out on this one. So I'm just going to go with that. Ah. I'm going to roll over slightly to the side as I make my way up. Excuse me, around the trochanter. So I've been doing this practice right here for at least a decade. I can say there's significant improvement from where I began, but it never really just totally goes away. <laughs> <laughs> it always fluctuates. There's always the ebb and flow. But doing this practice really helps keep it uh, stabilized, I guess. I've gotten that question many times. When does it just go away? have the answer to that <laughs> I guess when we become the Buddha <laughs> all right 
getting in this side divot. And then we'll do a, just a little once over final and we'll move on to our openings. Oh, that was a nice spot right there. <sighs> okay. I'm just going to roll through, check to see if there's anything else that got skipped over and needs just a little bit more attention. Ah. Yay. All right, so we're going to find our noodle ball here. Oh, and I also I just want to give a shout out to my new shirt. This is a dear friend's business, All to Love. You can find her on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, MJ Robinson. And she wrote the book, uh, The Fearless Life Guide. Good stuff. Good stuff. Check it out. All right. So finding our noodle ball, we're going to come right into the low back, just above the hip bones, right into those QLs. We've got a little bit of space right in the center two balls just to go on either side of the spine. So we're never actually on the vertebrae, the spine itself. Don't want to be breaking no vertebrae. All right. We're just gonna kind of come in, position ourselves, find that happy spot, and then we're gonna just lie back. Oh. oh, and just surrender into it, and the muscle tissue will start to become more accepting and allowing of the balls to. Press in, and begin to relax. And as they release, you can start to add a little bit of movement. Perhaps pulling the knees up and in towards the chest. If that begins, if that's too much for you, you can start to just rock the knees side to side with the feet planted. But if you want a little bit more pressure, you can elongate that tail, get the tail nice and firm on the earth and then you can begin to pull the knees up higher or you can control your pressure basically based on how high you pull the knees up and you can begin rocking just gently side to side just to usually start with a slow roll first and then you're going to speed up the process. One nice slow roll to each side. Keep that breath moving. If you find anything that really needs some attention, feel free to pause and breathe. Stay there. Right, relax. As that's letting go, now I'm starting to speed up my movement. And as I rock, I just slightly inch my bum down on the mat. Just a little bit, you know, half inch, inch or so, and that allows the balls to roll up the back of the spine just a bit. So moving up into higher muscle tissues. 
And we begin to make our way up. We'll make our way up, all the way up through the spine, through the heart space. Now, as you continue to move up, I like to continue, like, keep elongating this lower spine and also keep trying to get my ribs to come out down. So the balls will continue to move up, but I also try to lengthen the spine, stretch myself out. So if I pull the knees in, let the tail elongates, and then I can place that down. You can drop the shoulders, drop these ribs right here. Oh. As we start to get up towards the bottom of the ribs, start to get a, a little bit of teeter-totter action with that because the tail wants to go long, the chest wants to lift, or the chest goes down and wants to flip the tail. It's kind of hard to get that midsection to all go flat over the balls. I mean, it's practically impossible. We're just doing our best. <laughs> so I'm just kind of coming right to center. I've got a bit of tension just at the base of the ribs at the top portion of the QLs. So right here I can just pause a bit and I can pull the knees in and release them and just do a bit of up and down rocking the balls which is roll slightly and just do a little bit of massage work. The key to this practice is truly just becoming one with the balls finding what works for you and what works for your body, learning how to just move freely with them. Everybody is different. So what feels good or works for me might not necessarily work for someone else based on structure. So this is all just suggestive. I'm starting to come in, I'm crossing over into the lower ribs. And right here, I'm just, I'm just kind of helping move the balls up. And this is where it's really teeter-totter. So as I come into those lower ribs, I'm trying to lay the tail down, but notice the chest, and the ribs come up. So there's a bit of a, I drop those, the tail has to come up. So finding something that's comfortable, usually I like to get the tail nice and long, get this part first pressed into the earth. And then I start to work with elongating the upper spine. So if I tuck the chin a bit and then lie myself down, lay down, then I can work with getting these shoulders back. And then I can kind of just encourage these ribs to go down, but I'm also surrendering and trying to relax over these balls. Ooh. Oh. Again, we can start a little, as it releases, start some rocking. Those lower ribs, we do have to be a little bit cautious and aware because they are, you know, they're kind of floating 
ribs. We're not, we're not trying to throw anything out of whack. So just be a little bit gentle and, and aware as you move through this. We're not trying to, you know, if that doesn't feel good, don't do it. <laughs> Other than muscle tension, like, ow, oh, that's tender. But if the bone structure is like, oh, that doesn't feel right, don't, <laughs> don't do that. Take care of yourself. Worry about yourself. And again, I'm inching down just a little bit, starting to make my way up. And the teeter totter starts to dissipate a little bit as we come further up into the ribs. Comes a little less delicate. Movement. A little more at ease. I've never seen something in a little side space of the ribs here, so I'm just going to take a, a lot. <sighs> As I start to get deeper into the heart space, I do like to take the arms up, either higher out to the side or up and overhead. Again, find which placement feels right to the body. Don't be attached to it. Feel free to move around or play with them. See what feels the best in each moment. <sighs> Rolling into the side seams. Oh, I should tell you. Oh. Fair warning, oftentimes I have light language come out, so if you don't understand what I'm saying, it's it's not about understanding, it's a frequency. Um, just side note. <laughs> I can't control that. I've stopped trying to. My left butt cheek was freaking out. So I just have to let it. Nor do I want to control it. It's part of it. We have a little more freedom. We're up in the upper portion of this heart space. Oh, starting to make our way. We're just kind of at the base of those scapulas. And as I come across that edge, coming onto the scapulas, I really like to take first the arms out to the side. This, in my body, flattens the scapulas and, and flattens the, the, the back. So it allows the balls to roll over top of the scapulas and really get those uh, surface muscles, which is really nice. Here I press into my heels a bit and I'm, I'm just using my legs to, to roll up and down, rock. Rocking and rolling, rocking and rolling. <sighs> We can come all the way up towards the tops of the shoulders there, the top portion of the scapulas. Rolling on the, the outer edges of it. And you can rock slightly. It's a little bit challenging in this position to do too much of a rock, but at least on my structure. And just rolling any place that you find the most tension. If you're finding a lot of it is in the center, just wait. We're going to get deeper into the center portion right in between those scapulas. So the focus is really on the, you know, this is kind of top and outer edge of the scapulas in this moment. 
but if your middle knots are, go, are blocking it, uh, we'll get there, I promise. It's coming next. It's rolling through. Tiny, we think, this little, little pause. Feel some for the next series on the right. So, this is the outer portion, the back side of the armpit. These carries, they hold a lot of, that's where we hold guilt and shame. <laughs> Yay! All right, so now, as I promised, the center section, we're gonna take the, the balls and make a little bit of a V, and then I place them, the top balls on top of the shoulders, right into the traps. And then the V goes right in between the scapulas. Again, just find what works on your structure. And I'm just lying back over it. I hear I'm pressing the heels. So my weight is really on top of the balls. You're gonna have to move them around a bit, adjust it with your hands, find what it fits. Ha! And then you bring those elbows in and towards one another. And you can feel, so as you drop, the buttocks will go lower. And as you lift the buttocks, you'll go higher. So you can, you can find what section you need to move on or work on. You can point it by adjusting the height of your pelvis, pressing into those heels. So with the elbows in, it opens and spreads those scapulas open so we can really dive into those rhomboids. And then you can shift your weight slightly left or right. Ah. And the balls will sink right into ah, those rhomboids. You get that side, inside edge of the scapula rhomboid attachments. Oh, yeah. Ah. And then drop to the opposite side. I right hear I just felt called to kind of cut my head, pull my chin in towards the chest as I press deeper into my feet and I roll up towards the top. So the, the traps, top portion of the shoulders there where we hold all our feelings of obligations. <laughs> Excuse me, see? You're in the throat. They're in the throat. Huh. Log jams. Here the log jams. Ah. Dropping one side to the other. Ah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to just flatten these balls back out, or straighten them back up. I'm going to do a little run through one more time, just a quick roll. It's one of my favorite things to do is just press into the heels and, and support the head and adjust. Roll through. If you have a loose shirt, you might get tangled up. <laughs> so, ah, oh. ah, oh. yeah, ah. Oh. 
Ah. Ah. All right. We'll just throw that to the side. What do we got? Right. I'm just going to listen to my body. My body says lay down for a second and pull the knees up and in towards the chest. Get a nice long tail. Really elongate that spine, tuck the chin a bit, elongating the cervical. I'm going to do a little bit of a twist. We're going to roll to the left side, keeping the knees stacked. Over here, we're going to really try to keep this top knee from sliding back when we come into this twist. It's going to want to slide, but we're going to twist from the navel up. So this lower prep uh, portion is going to be nice and stable. You can stack your hands out, one on top of the other, out in front of you, and then nice deep breath. And on the exhale, we're going to take the top hand over and above, keeping the fingertips onto the earth in a clock style fashion. We're going to pause to inhale, and then exhale. Ah, we're coming further into the twist again, twisting from the navel up. Ah, rotating that rib cage open. Check in with these knees. Make sure this top knee is still stabilized. Ah, further into the twist. So we've got our arms out at what is it? 315, 345, there, 345, yes. Ah. Now, right here, I'm gonna lift my left shoulder just a bit to kind of get it further up underneath the body or out from under the body more so. Check in with my knees, keep this nice and stable. I can give a little bit of support with my left hand behind the knee. And then I'm dropping this right shoulder ah, ah, down to the earth, really ringing out from this midsection. Ah, 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 and I'm looking to the right. Ah, ah. All right, now we're gonna unwind. Same way we came in. Ah, moving on the exhalation, taking the arm up and overhead along the earth, fingertips. Ooh. And I like to hyperextend when I come back forward, bringing this left or this right shoulder slightly more forward just to kind of counter that movement. Ugh. All right, we're gonna switch sides. So I'm gonna flip for visual. <sighs> Again, knees are up and in. Knees stack, arms out in front. Nice deep breath in. Moving on the exhalation, top hand becomes clock style, fingertips along the earth, pausing to inhale. Ah, rotating those ribs, keeping those knees nice and stacked. Inhale. Ah. Unfolding again, and then lift up slightly, pulling this right shoulder out from underneath the body to check in with this knee. You give a little bit of just encouraging support with my fingertips behind the knee. Keep it stabilized as I rotate these ribs down. Oh, oh. oh. The left shoulder drops down towards the earth. Oh. Oh. 
We're trying to take this left ear also down towards the earth, really getting that twist all the way through the cervical spine. Oh. 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 All right, so we're going to come out the same way we came in. Nice deep breath in. Moving on the exhalation. Oh. 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 I'm going to just roll to my back and just get a little rock, a little movement. Check in, see what it feels like. Okay. I feel like I need a little bit more shoulder to release up in here. So I'm going to come back to sitting. We're going to take this left hand, palm facing out. So the back of the hand is on this, on the back. We're just going to bring it up as high as you can get it. If you're down here, this is fine as well. It's going to come up as high as you can. Huh. And you can even begin to work with it already. So bring this, trying to drop this shoulder backwards. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to support myself with my right elbow as I come down. And so I'm just going to be slightly turned to the right as I come down to the earth. And then I'm going to roll over to the left. So the, the palm is now onto the earth. I'm going to elongate this cervical spine, tucking the chin a bit. And then with my feet, my knees, I'm going to start to roll over and lie back over this arm. So you can control your pressure by how far you roll. And you're just going to allow the shoulders to surrender. We'll try to get it down closer to the earth. Right? We're going to try to close this gap a bit. And the more we rotate to this left side, the more pressure we're going to have. We're going to ease into it. We're not trying to rip anything or break anything. We're going to be exactly where we are. We're going to take our right hand and just do a little check in anything that you can feel like okay there's the tension right there there's the resistance so you can apply just a little gentle pressure on it find those knots just help encourage it to let go oh. just gentle suggestion The shoulder should start to drop down just a little bit more. I'm closing the gap here. Although I'm on my bracelet, which is grinding into my wrist and my wrist. So pause for me. <laughs> If you find that it is just way too tight and you, you just can't get into it, you can lower the hand on the back so it's not quite so high. You might find it just a tad bit easier to come into this. So I'm going to go slightly more left at this point because I can feel it dropping. But just be where you are. Where you are. If 
They're going to move their head and neck around. Just further release any push or pull that's going on. Oh. Oh. All right, as this starts to end, we're going to roll over to the right, but we're not engaging. We are not engaging, right? So allowing the arm to just be as we roll over. We don't want to engage all this. It's a bit like, what are we doing, though, right? So we're just going to allow it to to rest, we get ease as we roll over, and then we can slowly begin to inch the hand down the spine, down the back side of the body, with very, very little engagement. We're really not activating this upper portion of the arm. We just really get the elbow down. And then we're just gonna kind of get it out from behind the body so that we can roll back Ah, and then allow the arm to just rest. Love it. Just love it. Be supportive of it. Let it just be. And then we can slowly begin to add some movements of the fingers, rotation of the wrist. Perhaps bring the arm out slightly. And then you can add in the rotation of the lower portion of the arm at the elbow, and that starts to rotate the shoulder socket just very gently. And you can feel it like, oh, okay, okay. Or like when you sit on your leg or something, that, you know, too long, not quite, totally asleep, and it's like, oh, it just doesn't want to move right now. Just uh, slow movement, so we're not freaking anything out. All right, a little more. I'll do the other side. So we come up to sitting, bring the right arm up the back. I'll brace it out of the way this time. All right, so I'm coming. To my left side, and then I'm slowly rolling back. The palm is coming onto the earth. The elbow is coming down. Ha! I'm gonna pause right here. This is the spot. Ha! And I'm gonna start to release the arm. Just let it go. Let that shoulder go. Ha! Let that elbow drop to the earth. If it's too much, just slightly rotate out. Gentle movements of the head and neck can also assist. And as it begins to surrender, we can start to roll to center or slightly right. And again, we Provide love and encouragement with the left hand to this right shoulder. You might have some tension on the back side of the shoulder, some tension on the, the top portion, some on the front, or the, the pack attachment, or the deltoids, or the, the trap, or the teres. All of that stuff. So you can just Give it some love. Find a knot and just apply a little bit of pressure to it. Hold it, breathe into it. Ah. Ah.
So if I, if I press into my heels a little bit, raise my butt up off of the earth and kind of get the shoulder down a little bit more. And then I can slowly lower the butt. And find a little spot where it's like, oh, oh. Oh. All right, now we're going to start the coming out of it. So again, don't activate, don't engage it. Just let it be as we roll over to the left. Oh. Let it hang, let it hang. Whew. And then slowly you're going to take the wrist, bending or straightening at the elbow, not engaging this upper portion. We're just trying to get the arm out from behind us. Roll back to the back and allow the arm to just rest under the earth. And then we'll begin the slow integrational process of coming back, coming back, start the movements of the fingers. Rotation of the wrist, bringing that elbows away from the body. Ah. Rotating the forearm, bringing it to a place where you can rotate at that elbow and start to rotate that shoulder socket. Ah. And then coming into Full movement. Integration. Integration. So important. Oh. All right. Your leg, let's come over to the side. Let's come up. Let's come to all fours. Let's do a little bit of free movement. Yo, it's free movement on all fours, Kitty. Oh, this gets a cat. This move like the kitty. <laughs> Rounding up. Oh. Oh. Give me back a little bit of child. Oh. Forward, dropping the pelvis, lifting the chin. Oh. Yeah. Get some hip rotations, nice big circles. We just move these shoulders. So we're gonna we're rotating with the shoulders as well. So we're taking the hips around, but we're also keeping those shoulders or palms planted, and then we're getting a shoulder rotation at the same time. Clockwise and counterclockwise. <sighs> All right, we're going to do a little warm up down dog. No hands under shoulders, knees under hips. We're going to work with these. Uh, continue to work with this shoulder neck region here. So we're Spreading our thumbs really wide. We're going to have our thumbs pointing towards one another on the mat. Fingers really wide. We're going to take the eye of the elbow, face it forward as much as you can. So we're going to try to keep this as stable as we can. Try to keep that eye of the elbow forward. It will start to rotate, and that's okay. We just want to as much as possible. Right? So getting that nice solid foundation, drop that head and neck, toes are turned under, nice deep breath in, exhale, press into the toes and lift the knees. We're keeping this eye of the elbow forward. So we're just, we're moving slow here. Eye of the elbow forward, dropping those ribs, we're taking the belly towards the thighs. Drop that head and neck. Try to keep those eyes of the elbows coming up. Maintain that as much as you can. Whew. 
and then you can start to bring those heels down. We can get some bicycling and open up the backs of the legs. They're not, they've not been activated, right? Okay, get some roots. Get some of these roots opened up. Huh. Up those ankles. Oh, yeah. Oh. 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 Come back to center. Oh. We'll take a moment to shake those arms out. We're going to do that again. <laughs> again, thumbs facing one another. Nice, firm. Press into the earth, fingers spread wide at the eyes and the elbows. Rotate it forward, dropping this head and neck. Huh. Toes are turned under, nice deep breath in. Exhale, remember we're moving slow, pressing into those toes, lifting those knees, bringing those ribs, that belly towards the thighs. Check in with those arms. If you need to come out, rotate them forward again. Ha. 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 Oh. Feel the tug of war, the pull, and the shoulders. Ugh. The shoulders keep the neck so tight as well. So I'm just going to play with this once you start to tire a bit in the knees or the thighs. We can then oh, press into those heels, lift those toes, take those hips back, keep those shoulders rotating out, those eyes, the elbows as much as you can. Bring those, that belly towards the thighs, ribs are dropping down, head and neck are loose. Oh, oh. A little bit of zen needs to happen. That might be our final piece, actually. Spent a lot of time on the balls today. Too good. Oh, I just a little free movement. Free movement. I love free movement. <laughs> it's like dancing. Oh, the dance is so good. All right. Oh, I know what I want to do. Little crown, little crown. All right, this is what we're doing. This is what we're doing. Take your hands. Your fingertips are going to be even or just behind the knee. Placing the hands onto the ear. Going to come up onto the toes here. Going to tuck this chin, and you're going to come down towards the earth. You're bringing, trying to get this back. Crown, crown of the skull onto the earth. All right, you want to keep these hands behind the knee because this is going to protect the cervical spine. All right, so we're leaning forward, leaning forward, boom. All right. Now from here, we're going to lift up, so we're rolling towards the top of the of the the crown. Back side of the crown, the chin. The chin is tucked center to the chest. You want to keep that chin right center of that chest. We're not rotating left or right. Keep that protected. Ha. 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 Nice deep breath. You can feel that go all the way through the spine. Oh. Polishing our halo. All right, now from here we can we can start to rotate. We keep the chin centered. 
I'm coming out just to explain because it's hard to talk like that. And get busy. <laughs> Keeping the chin tucked centered, we're going to roll slightly to the right of the crown and left of the crown. So we're kind of, we're going to get a little bit of a pull like this, but we're not rotating the chin left or right. All right, here we go. We're going slightly left. Huh. 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 And then we can come back to center. Huh. 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 And then we can go slightly right. Huh. Huh. And then back to center. Huh. You can drop the feet. Feet become flat on the earth, and we're just going to slowly roll back and come into a child. Oh, so the forehead now into the earth. Oh. Again, integration process, no quick movements here, just really slowly, allowing all those, everything in the cycle. Just allowing it to integrate and start to just gently rock your head side to side. You can rotate the chin here. And then we're just supporting ourselves with our hands. We're just going to slowly start to roll, rotate to sitting one vertebrae at a time. So we're, we're starting down at the sacrum, the low back. Just let the head and neck hang, rolling up, rolling up, stacking one on top of the other, stack, stack, stack. Head comes up last. Oh. Oh, yeah. All right, now we're going to zen it. Oh. Yeah, next feeling good. Okay. How do we do Zen? <laughs> We're gonna come to all fours. I'm gonna shake it out. I gotta shake it out. I gotta listen, listen to the body. Just listen to the body, it always tells you. All right, so we're gonna do a little bit of a, I'm gonna explain this real quick. We're gonna do an inhale, uh, bringing this, so we're gonna come into that same twist again, rotating the ribs, we'll come up, and then we'll exhale, we'll drop down. We'll come up three times, exhale, drop down. Then we'll come into zen, okay? I'll walk in here at time, drop. Here we go. Coming back to center, again, because we've been working on this, let's go ahead and be mindful of this eyes, the elbows facing forward on the one planted hand. We're going to start, the right hand is going to be the one that's going to go up. We're going to keep this pelvis nice and stable, and we're only twisting from the navel up. All right, nice deep breath in. Exhale. Inhale the right arm up. Rotating those ribs. Reach, 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 reach. Exhale, drop down. Come down to the shoulders. Reach through as far as you can through the eye of the needle. Oh. Inhale. Twist. Exhale. Oh. Inhale. Twist. Ribs only. Reach, reach, reach. Exhale. 
I'm reaching through. All right. Now from here, you're gonna really reach this, this arm as far as you can. You're gonna get as far on top of, or on the back side of the shoulder as you possibly can. All right, so we're, again, we're twisting in just this part. So we've got the ribs twisting. This arm is coming forward. Now we're stabilized with our back right leg and toes and stabilized with our left palm. We're gonna lift this left foot and we're gonna walk these toes out. Out, out here with the hands. All right, now you might find you can get the shoulder slightly more underneath you here. We're gonna tuck, I hope I don't fall out. <laughs> We're gonna tuck the chin to the chest. Ha. And just like we did before with the clock, nice deep breath in. Exhale. Ha. You begin to rotate. Notice that the shoulders are starting to come to the earth. Ha. Ah, we start to drop further into the shoulders. Center that chin. Ah. Ah. We're going to get these arms ah. straight out to our sides. Compress through this extended foot, and this can control you and keep you from rolling out as we drop deeper into it. Oh. Oh. Tuck that chin, we're dropping. Left shoulder is coming to the earth. Oh. Now, right here, my extended foot is now coming off the earth. You may stay here. This might be as much as you can go. You may still be here, that's okay. Be where you are, you're going further. You can reach and extend through this left leg, through this heel. Oh. The shoulders are on the earth. Oh. Oh. This gets up into the shoulders, up into the, through the neck, into the back space of the heart. And when it ends for you and you're ready to come out, we're just rolling out. We're just rolling out. So just as gently as you can. Oh. You're gonna take a moment to integrate. All right, we got one more side to do. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna switch directions here. So again, move his leg. <sighs> Come back to center, or all fours. I'm just gonna, again, I'm checking in, feeling everything, giving whatever needs attention, tension. All right, so this time the right hand is our foundational piece. So the left hand is what's gonna go up, so we're rotating the eye of the elbow forward. We'll take a nice deep breath in and out. Before we inhale the arm up, drop the head and neck. Nice deep breath in. And exhale. <sighs> inhale, left arm up, rotating the ribs. Reach, reach, reach as far back as you can. Exhale, dropping down and through. Reach, reach, reach as far as you can. <sighs> and I take my hips slightly left right here. Inhale, <laughs> excuse me, inhale this 
Left arm up, twist. Ha, exhale. Dropping through. Coming down, now I'm taking my hips slightly left to balance it out and further the twist. My hair out the way, supporting myself with now the left knee, left toes, right hand. I'm getting this arm, the shoulder further up underneath my body. And then start moving towards the, tin, uh, the chin tuck. And I'm taking my right toes out near my fingertips. Now I'm gonna try to get this shoulder nice and out from underneath me here. And I'm gonna tuck this chin, center of the chest, placing the right hand on top of the left. Nice deep breath in. Moving on the exhalation. Ah, dropping towards the back of the neck, tops of the shoulders. Ah. Ah. Again, controlling my weight, my balance with this extended leg by pressing through that heel. Ah. Dropping deeper into the shoulders and evening my arms out to each side. Bringing that chin to the center of chest. <sighs> Dropping in. Uh, uh. Again, going to take it just a little bit further. Lift those toes. Reach through that heel. Uh. <sighs> Oh, and when it ends, we're just rolling out gently as possible. <laughs> and integrate, let it integrate. Ah. <sighs> All right. <sighs> And from here, we're going to make our way to Shavasana. If you want to just be right where you are and go into relax, go for it. If you want to move and find a better placement, you know, this might just be the best placement. If it is me. You are feeling anything in the low back region. Highly encourage legs up the walls and help reset. You might have thrown it out just in case you maybe tweak that sacrum a little bit in the twistings. Easy to do sometimes. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to let you sink in here, drop into Shavasana, let the earth support you. Get that tail nice and long, firm and planted into the earth, fully supported. Nice, long spine, get those ribs down. Get that chin tuck to really elongate the cervical spine. You lie back, let the arms rest open, palms up. Ha. Coming into that breath. I feel like sunshine today. So I'm gonna play a little sun while you sink in. And then I'll let you, you, you can feel free to hang out in Shavasana as long as you would like.
continue to rest as much as you would like. I hope that you have a beautiful day. And namaste.